Welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we're going to be uh, learning some uh, some things about English grammar. So let us see what we are going to be learning. So we are going to be learning about the parts of speech, degrees of comparison, articles, and a few things about etymology. So parts of speech. What is the parts of speech? So the parts of speech, it is a category in the English grammar in which a word is assigned in accordance with it, with its syntactic functions. In English, the parts of speech are noun, pronoun, adjective, verb, adverb, preposition, conjunction, and ejection. We'll be learning few things about each one. Noun. So what is a noun? A noun is a naming word. In It names a place, animal, a person, or even a thing. So there are many types of nouns and main, some main types are proper noun, common noun, material noun, collective noun, and abstract noun. So we are going to be uh, learning uh, so, uh, about these in the next. So examples of nouns are cowboy, theater, box, thought, tree, kindness, garden, even a laptop, etc. So the tree is growing in my garden. So here tree and garden are nouns. So what are the types of nouns? So this is a table on the types of nouns. So we have five main types. So the first one is proper noun. What is a proper noun? It is something which is unique. So there's only one thing. There's no other things like that. So example, Taj Mahal. There's only one Taj Mahal in the whole world. And India. Gandhi and Gamba. So example, a sentence using this a proper noun is the Taj Mahal is made of white marble. So here Taj Mahal is the proper noun. Common noun is something in common. So if we name a common noun, then it becomes a proper noun. Example, theater, house, mom, dad, bus, and even monument. So if we name a monument like Taj Mahal, then it has become a proper noun. But monument is a common noun. So a book is made of one noun. Collective noun. It it is a word for a collection of nouns. It is a word for a collection of nouns. Collection of people, animals, and even things like people we have board, class, committee, family, etc. Animals, flock, herd, etc. And things bunch, collection, fleet, etc. So a set example sentence using this collective noun is a pack of wolves were roaming in the jungle. A team of players won the match. So here team and pack are the collective nouns. So they tell that uh, a lot of uh, wolves and a team of players. So it just tells how many like the collection of wolves and players. So material noun, it tells us about the material of anything like silver gold iron cotton like silver plate gold earrings cotton shirt that shirt is made of cotton abstract noun it tells us about feelings emotions etc so sad happy liberty anger freedom love generosity etc so i am angry today is here angry is the abstract noun a verb. What is a verb? It is a word that describes an action. So doing something or a state being something. So example, walk, run, sing, believe, believe, live, etc. The boy is running. Here running is the verb. It tells what action the boy is doing. The boy is running. So it's the continuous form. Adjective. So it is a word that describes the noun. It tells you more about the noun or it tells you about the noun. Example, big, yellow, thin, amazing, sad. The boy is sad. It tells you well, how is the boy. The boy is sad.
adverb. So adverb, it is a word that usually describes a verb, adjective, or even another adverb. It tells you how something is done. It may also tell you when or where something happened. So example, slowly, intelligently, yesterday, tomorrow. The children slowly ate their food. So slowly here is telling how the children ate their food. They ate the food slowly. And if it's like the children slowly ate their food yesterday. So if there's yesterday over here, then even yesterday tells when the action of eating was happening. It happened yesterday. No, no. So it is used instead of a noun to avoid the repeating of a noun. So example, he, she, I, it, they, you. So instead like Ram went to school, Ram is studying, Ram is drawing. We could just introduce Ram one time and in the other two places we could use pronouns. Ram went to school, he is studying and he is drawing. Conjunction. It is used to join two words, phrases, or even two sentences together. Example, but, so, because, or, etc. So the boy won. He studied well. So to join these two sentences, we could use because. The boy won because he studied well. Preposition. So it usually comes before a noun or pronoun. It tells you where a noun is placed. Example, on, it, in, by, with, under. The book is on the table. It's telling you where the book, which is the noun, is. It is on the table and on is the preposition. And table is the object or this is another noun. So it's telling you where the book is. Interjection, they are words which express emotion or surprise. Example, Ray, oops, Ray, I passed the exam. So it tells you a word, emotion or surprise. Degrees of comparison. So what is the degrees of comparison? To describe, quantify, modify, or identify nouns or pronouns, adjectives are used or reused. Adjectives have their own degrees called degrees of adjectives or degrees of comparison that compare one thing or person to another. So adjectives, they have three degrees of comparison, which is positive or simple degree of adjectives, comparative degree of adjectives, and superlative form. So some examples are the simple or positive is the cat runs fast. Comparative, the cat runs faster than the dogs. So after the comparative form, we could use that or compare to. The cat runs faster compared to dogs. So the cat and the dog is compared here. Superlative, the cat runs fastest of all animals. It, the cat is um, compared with the whole animal, with the, all of the animals, not another one. So here is a table. So here it's the simple form, comparative, usually with the suffix er. Usually, it's not always. And superlative, it is est. So examples, fast, slow, big, smart, good. He is a fast runner. He runs slow. He ran a big race. These are examples of them used in sentences. And fast plus er, faster. Slow plus er, slower. Bigger, smarter, better. So it's not gooder, but it is better. And even beautiful. So if we use beautiful here, it would become more beautiful and most beautiful. It would be beautifuler, beautifulest. Would be more beautiful and most beautiful. So he is faster than his brother in running. So here after the compared to form, than or compared to will come. He runs slower compared to his friend. He ran a he ran a bigger race than his sister. So fastest, slowest, biggest, smartest, best. These are the supernatural. So better becomes best. It won't be better est. And beautiful becomes most beautiful. He is the fastest runner in the class. So he is compared with the whole class. 
He is the. So here the will come before. We'll be learning this in the articles. So he is the slowest runner in the stadium. He ran the biggest race than anyone. Articles. What are articles? So an article is used to introduce a noun like an, a, a, and the. A, an, and the. You use a if the word starts with the consonant sound like b, c, d, etc. And you use an when it starts with the vowel sound like a, e, i, o, and u. And you use the before the superlative form or a specific noun which is a proper noun. Example is the Taj Mahal and an example and a a book. Next. Etymology. So, what is etymology? It is the study of origin of the words. So, there are many origins such as Latin, Greek, and French. So, examples the root ag, which means move, go, or do, has come from the origin Latin. Example agenda and agent. So, a table with the uh, root the meaning, uh, the origin, and an example uh, with the with the using the root. Uh, Al means relating to, which has come from Latin, and it's used in animal decimal gradual. Alta means other from Latin, alterable, altercate. A-R-Y, which means connected with, from Latin means dic dictionary and primary. E-R or A-R or O-R is one who, from German, Germ German, which means dancer or fighter. So here E-R and E-R, one who fights, one who dances. So here are the origins of English. So... English has been derived from many uh, origins. So, Latin is 29%. French, which includes Anglo-French, has come from, uh, is 29%. Uh, Germanic lang languages is 26 which include Old Middle English, Old Norse, and Dutch. Greek is 6%. Other or unknown languages is also six percent and derived from proper means is four percent. So, thanks for watching and do sub do forget to uh, subscribe and do smack the like button.